Uh, were there any specific challenges that you faced uh, being a female playing elite sport? Um, specific challenges, yes, I'd have to say as I got older um, and finished school and then um, I think financial issues came into it with having to juggle work and sport and um, you get very good at time management um, and um, yeah, it, it was difficult because you sometimes you, you find yourself um, spreading yourself too thin and um, then you're not fully applying yourself to the sport as much as you'd like to. I think um, just trying to get the time off work and and um, trying to balance family as well and yeah just having some downtime it's really hard I guess a downtime for me is work um, <laughs> that is my downtime uh, <laughs> and but I enjoy my job and my boss is very supportive he's a major sponsor of our Australian women's sevens team and our 15s team so yeah well, that helps then. it does <laughs> it helps when I need to get time off work <laughs> that's perfect. It's, it is quite hard. You have to have good employers, and, and I'm lucky enough to, to have that. But um, you know, it's quite hard. We're actually playing a fair bit of cricket at the moment, and just taking time off uh, from your job. So I guess that's the hard thing. There isn't much money involved in our sports. So you know, since I've been playing, just do it for the love of the game. I would have said the stereotypes, but that's definitely changing now. Um, I think we're putting that positive Im image out there to the community and we're doing so much with the girls' development as well. We're not just getting you know, the one-off girls coming to play the game. They're actually lots putting their hands up and they want to be part of it.